Okay, so here's my fish. What I'm gonna season it with, of course, is some obey. Garlic powder. Lemon pepper. Oh, that was a lot. And then some paprika. I always have a hard time getting this open. Mm. Like it's going right in the other. Paprika. Like what? Why is it acting brand new? Because I got the camera on. Anyways. It's that. Rub it in some. And then I'm trying to debate if I want to put it in the air fryer or if I just want to throw it in the oven with the fries. I think I'm just going to throw it in the oven to be honest with you because yeah, we just got to less dishes. So I'm going to throw this in the oven and then we're going to get started on the sauce. Okay, so I usually cook a lot of this because I'll like eat on it for days, but I'm going to try not to cook a lot i don't know how to cook in small portions y'all i just i have a big family so it's just what i'm used to but i'm gonna try so i'm gonna do one stick of butter i'm gonna let that melt down then i'm gonna add the wine but as you can see the water is boiling so i'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles i'm trying not to add too much i just want like two serving sizes i feel like that should be good okay, that's definitely too much might as well just add the rest of the So we got the noodles. This is doing what it's supposed to do. Come on, yeah. I hate waiting for stuff to melt. Like, I don't know what it is. I have a lot of patience, but when I'm waiting, like, especially with food, it's like, hurry up, speed this up. Anyways, I'm gonna add the wine. <laughs> Start letting it cook down. It's like two cups. Maybe. Two cups of wine. Let that cook. I'm also going to add in some minced garlic. I probably should have did this first, but definitely doing everything backwards today. It is what it is. Okay, while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes so I can throw in there. I usually don't do this, 
And I usually cook my scampi with um, shrimp, but I don't have shrimp. We have salmon, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna be cutting it in half. And I have a shallot, but like I said, with the garlic, I probably should have put the shallot in first and saute that and then add the butter in the wine. But I feel like it's gonna be good regardless. I've been wanting this for so long. Well, honestly, I've never even had this version. Like I said, I always do the shrimp and I don't add tomatoes. But for some reason, I saw um, like the Tuscan salmon video on TikTok. But I wanted to try it. I already had Tuscan salmon before, but I wanted to try it with the scampi. Well, that's nothing like it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's late. Got my tomatoes. I'm still trying to debate if I want to add in the shallot with it. I kind of. I don't know. Okay, now we're not gonna do the shallot because the way the garlic is looking real white instead of golden, <laughs> it's, it's just gonna be the same with the. Um, it's gonna be the same with the shallot, so. We'll use that for something else, another recipe. Now I just need a little bit more tomatoes. I like tomatoes. And that just was looking real skimp for me. For the amount of pasta that I put in. Alright, that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pour me some wine since we have some extra. And then we about to go outside real quick and check on these kids. Don't mind the box, that's donation. It's so nice today. You drawing? Why are y'all draw, drawing at the top of the driveway? Like this, like this, with a lot of little crumbs, and you blow on it, it makes powder and it's super cool. Hey, okay, oh, with the remix, the what? <laughs> Mommy. 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 is that your bike? Is that your bike? That's yours? Yeah. Oh, it's about time for another one, sir. That one look real small. I know. Look at my hip toy. Yeah. See, watch. What about my food? What about mine? You still fit yours. Yeah, if I sit on it, it's going to be white. Wow. Now, he still need to practice some more. Okay, I'm going to season the sauce. Oh, my God. It's not even open. I'm going to season the sauce some. And... Crushed, mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I hate these little holes. Like, stuff barely come out. Okay, crushed red peppers. And I like a lot because I like spicy. Some more lemon pepper. Because I didn't add lemon juice in here because I didn't have any. <gasps> Wait a minute, I do have some. Anyway, we're still going to season it with the lemon pepper. Some garlic powder. And then I'll put some parsley in there as well. But it's not open. I got to open it. So, hold on. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to use this, this noodle spoon and stir it around. I'm still allowing this to cook down. But now I want all the flavors to like combine. It looks really pretty. It's like red, greens, of course the whites, because the garlic getting brown. <laughs> Look, it's coming together. And I don't think I need too much. Hopefully it's just, just enough. Okay, now I'm gonna add the tomatoes and then the noodles are there as well. I'm gonna cut those off. Oh, my bad, y'all. 
almost knocked you over. Oof. I'm gonna move this and drain this. I thought I cut this out. Okay. Let these tomatoes cook down some. I didn't drain all of the water. It's still, you can't see, can you? There's still some water in there because I like to add a little bit of pasta water to the sauce. Just a little bit. But I'm gonna let these tomatoes cook down and then we'll come like that. Okay, so here's what the scampi is looking like. It looks real good, I can't wait to eat it. I'm just reheating the kids' meat up. Their fries just came out, so I'm gonna plate everything because I think my fish is almost done as well. I'm gonna plate everything and then I'll show you everybody's plate. Now keep in mind, these kids only eat meat and cheese. I'm gonna try to put some lettuce on top of it as well. But for the most part, they only eat meat and cheese. So don't expect nothing spectacular with theirs. Okay, here's the plates. So you got Giselle, Malachi, Nasir, Naomi. Not too much on her. She don't like her stuff to be mixed all together like that. She'll eat it separately. I was the exact same way up until maybe like <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> I had to eat one thing at a time on whatever was on my plate. Like I did not like my stuff mixed together whatsoever. It don't make no sense, but it is what it is. She likes it the same way, so that's how I fix her plates. Um, Sear, like I said, Malachi and Giselle, and it's just lettuce, cheese, and bacon with the taco meat on top of fries. See, me personally, if I was still eating meat, baby, I would tear this down with some sour cream, maybe some guacamole, some pico de gallo, but you know, they're kids. So you gotta let kids be kids and just eat what they eat. But I had to put the lettuce on there. They're not gonna be happy with the lettuce, but they gonna eat the lettuce today. directly after dinner i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen if i do not do this directly after dinner it's not getting done so while the kids are upstairs getting their showers and preparing themselves for bed i'm just going to spend the next 20 to 25 minutes cleaning up the kitchen every night is different it really depends on how much energy i have left at the end of the night sometimes i don't even get to the dishes but i've been making it a habit to tell myself that I'm going to do the best that I can do. And if I don't get it done, the world does not stop. It is not over. We still had a good productive day. And I'm just trying not to be so hard on myself. You know, you get caught up in social media so much when everyone has their perfect house or they're cleaning the house and they stick to their routine 100% of the times. But you just have to realistically and honestly be true to yourself and do what works for your family, your household, and your body. And on this particular night, I did what I could do with my energy level. I went ahead and cleaned everything put the food away and I did not get to sweep on my, my floors nor did I get to the dishes and I was okay with that because I knew that them dishes and them floors was going to be there the next day for me to tackle would it have been easier for me to get it done that night yes it would have it would have made my morning life easier but realistically how hard did it really make my life the next day not that bad, honest. I have to be honest with myself. It didn't make my life 100% more harder just because I didn't get the dishes done. I had a little bit more dishes to tackle 
when I woke up in the morning after breakfast, but that's about it. And honestly, we can't, we can't take this stuff too seriously, y'all. I don't know why I've been going on these rants in the videos lately, but I just want to let y'all know that it is okay if you do not get every single thing tackled off of your to-do list. The most important thing is that you did what you can do in that moment. And especially if you have a family, I prioritize spending time with my family versus cleaning. So that's exactly what I did that night. Where's the remote? You ready to go night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Touch it. Uh, I want to. Oh. No, leave it alone, girl. All right, y'all, so the kids are in bed. They are asleep right now. I am about to do some mommy self-care. I have been looking forward to this all day long, y'all. I knew I was gonna do it today, but I'm about to take my, like, everything shower. If you know, you know. That's when you do, like, your double cleansing, your exfoliation, like, everything that you need to do in the shower, right? I'm about to do that and I just wanted to show you some of the products that I'm be using because of course I can't show you while I'm in the shower. So. so the first thing that I'm going to use before I get in the shower, which I need to hurry up because I got the water on, is this Skin Fix. And this is to resurface. It's a um, renewing scrub. So you're supposed to use this before you get in the shower. So that's what I'm going to use. I also have like um, a body buffer and this is just like the long one. I like the gloves one too, but I just don't have one currently or it's not unpacked or I just don't have it period. So I got that to use in the shower. Of course, I use a Dove Beauty Bar in the shower. Also exfoliation in the shower. I use this um, body polish with lactate. lactate acid and this is the uh, vanilla and tuberose this stuff smells so good I actually have this um, body butter too it smells so good and then um, I got my razors I have my buffers and after the shower while I'm still in the shower I put this one this is the Nivea in shower body lotion and this just makes your skin super moisturized before you even get out the shower. And um, and then you add your lotions on, on top of that after you get out. So good. I'm just so, I'm ready. I'm about to get in the shower right now. And then I will um, come back on. But I'm going to, since the kids are asleep, like I get to take my time and actually relax. So be right back. All right, so now I'm about to make my sleepy time tea. And I'm just showing you the two different types that I have. So I have the sleepy time with melatonin. And then I also have the sleepy time extra. All Both of these are caffeine free, of course, because of the purpose of it. So this one has chamomile, spearmint, and other soothing herbs with added valerian roots. This stuff works so good and it doesn't leave me feeling like if i take melatonin melatonin works for me but i still wake up especially if i ain't having enough sleep i wake up still groggy and tired i don't like that but with this one i feel like this is a little bit more natural even though melatonin is natural but this one 
chef's kiss i love this and it's like not habit forming i only do it when i absolutely need it let's just say i had too much caffeine late in the day or i'm just trying to unwind and relax which is what i'm trying to do tonight so i already made my tea and the only other thing that i want to show you that i put in here and i've been doing this for about a month now absolutely love it it is magnesium glycinate gel and this is actually all three of them so Ooh, there you go and this right here just relaxes me even further and this has other health benefits for like your bones and all that kind of stuff but me purchase me i just like it for the relaxation part now i do if I don't make the tea, which I don't make the tea all the time because I don't need it, but I do try to take this, I will take this like by itself, to be honest with you. But if I'm making the tea, I just put it in the tea. And it says two tablespoons, but I just do that. Two spoonfuls every night. And it just, I don't know, I feel the difference. And my quality of sleep has definitely been better for it, so... That is my sleepy time tea. I'm pretty sure you can use it in the, in the cocktail as well. What is What flavor is this? I think it's cherry, but whatever. And it's sugar-free. <clears throat> but yeah, I just mix that all together. And then I'll add a little bit of honey. And then this will have me... So it doesn't put me out, out. So let me explain that to disclaimer it does not knock you out like melatonin what it does it, it relaxes your body to make it easier for you on your own to fall asleep that's why i like this so much so i'm gonna add some honey this is not the best honey but this is what we have try to get some natural honey if you can and that is my sleepy my sleepy time tea like i said i'm pretty sure you can make a mocktail out of it do some tart cherry juice with the magnesium and it'll work just as well but me i'm in the mood for tea tonight so that's what we're gonna do so the very last thing that i'm gonna do is go ahead and sip on this tea this is the time where i journal or I reflect or i just simply read a book i've been trying to make it a priority not to cut on the tv anymore and i have been doing really good so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed as always i really appreciate you watching and i'll see you in my next one